Moving to a robotic filling process with a completely closed gloveless isolator is a big change. Was there any internal pushback? There certainly was. Moving from a platform that we were comfortable with to a new technology was a major concern. We are fortunate, however, that the project team was ready to face unknown challenges. Perhaps the biggest reason for internal pushback was that our current products use components that are not supported on the gloveless robotic isolator. An indirect change for us was changing all of our primary container closure components that we have used for many years to new sizes, new material types, and different suppliers. What value did risk management bring to the project? Risk management was used to facilitate nearly every decision made in the project. Every department has led a series of their own risk assessments leading to machine selection, facility design, regulatory strategy, process development. Risk management has been and continues to be used on an ongoing basis. How did your team address the concerns from each of the groups affected by the new technology? Communication can be challenging in an organization dedicated to continuous improvement. Given the magnitude of this change for us, keeping any group in the dark would not have resulted in success. We drafted our initial user specification requirements in February of 2017, with it being sent to Vanorex Pharma Systems shortly thereafter. We spent nine months focused on due diligence activities, which included frequent communication, such as presentations to key stakeholders on site to collaborate on our next steps, as well as come up with risk mitigation strategies. This way, we would ensure there would be no surprises in the end. What can other companies learn from Emergence Experience? This was Emergent Winnipeg's first major capital project where quality assurance, regulatory affairs, and analytical sciences were major contributors to the project team from the very beginning. By including these groups in discussions that would typically involve operations-based departments, it was easier to evaluate key risks up front, collaborate on possible solutions, and get buy-in from their leadership teams.